Okay, so we're going to solve this problem together because I couldn't fit it all on the screen, but of course you should pause it at certain times and always make sure to work on it on your own. Let's start by reading the premise of the problem. A driver leaves home for a business trip and drives at a constant speed. Okay, so I'm thinking constant speed or slope uh, at speed, right? And it's constant, so we're going to have a line. Okay, 60 miles per hour for the first two hours. So I'm going to sketch that first on our graph down here. So you might want to pause it here and try to sketch out 60 miles an hour for the first two hours. I'm going to use a ruler. Well, a straight line tool, tool. I'm on a computer. We start off at zero. We haven't gone anywhere yet. And for the first hour here, we go up to 60 miles. And then we gain another 60 miles over the next hour. So over the course of two hours, we've gone 120 miles. That's the first two hours of the trip. So next, right? Next we... Okay, what happens next? Her car gets a flat tire and she spends 30 minutes changing the tire. So 30 minutes, it's a half of an hour. So I'm going to change colors here. For the next 30 minutes, she's not, her distance is not going to decrease. She's not going to go anywhere. Right? So we have a flat line. Then what happens? She resumes driving uh, and drives at 30 miles an hour. She's driving slower now. Right? She gets the flat for the remaining one hour until she reaches her destination. So over the course of the next one hour, so that's from two and a half to three and a half, She's going to go in a total of 30 miles. And, oops, I don't want to use the same color. It's a different color. So 30 miles, these are going up by um, 120, 140. Oh, sorry. sorry. So here we're going up uh, by intervals of 30. So it goes 120, 150, 180. So these are already in intervals of 30. So over the course of the next hour, we go up 30 miles. And all I did there was over this one hour, that's from two and a half to three and a half hours, she's gone 30 miles. Um, and all they're asking for in this problem is a graph that models the driver's distance from home, and that's exactly what we have here. You might also label these points, right, just to be clear that this is three and a half, 150, and you can label some other key points. This is two and a half, 120. This key point, turning point, is 220. And then if you want to, zero, zero. Sometimes labeling this point just really clarifies what you're doing. All right, I hope that helped.